it can transmit electricity with essentially no resistance and low loss of power. With one uh, condition, you have to cool it, and you have to cool it to a temperature on the order of the boiling point of liquid nitrogen. So this allows superconductors to create, for example, very large magnetic fields. So one place uh, you might experience a very large magnetic field is when you go in an MRI machine, you're actually surrounded by a very powerful magnet. If you had a superconductor, you can get much larger magnetic fields, and that increases the precision of the MRI images. There are also various trials using superconductors to transmit electric power. If you had a cable made of a superconductor, uh, which has to be now cooled to 77 degrees Kelvin, so these cables are surrounded by another pipe that has liquid nitrogen flowing in it. But all of that is not that expensive, and it's doable today, and there are several companies that are setting out to do this. 